Hello, I'm Rob Lefferts. I'm the General Manager for Office Extensibility, and I'm here today to talk to you about all the things that you can do programming against Office. I want to tell you not only about the framework, but also share some of the news that we have here this week at Connect. Before we do that, let's drill in a little bit to talk about the size of the opportunity. And there are a lot of numbers on this slide, but the point is that Office is used by a lot of users, and they are passionate about the work and things that they get done within Office. In addition, they're creating a lot of data within Office 365. And so one of the numbers here is that there's actually 850 million meetings a month created in Exchange Online, which is over 28 million meetings a day. And what that actually represents is not just a piece of data, but it's a piece of data about how people chose to spend their time, the work they were doing, the people they were meeting with, and the place that they were doing it. And so with that, I'd like to describe a framework that extends across all of Office. And we'll talk today about Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook, as well as you see here, the services that are provided as part of Office 365. And there are ways to plug into each one of those. Here's how we think about it. It's add-ins, APIs, and connectors. And each one of these gives you a hook to how you can connect into the broader Office ecosystem. Before I delve in, one of the most important things to keep in mind is that our approach here is around openness, making sure that all of these capabilities are accessible to you through what you'd expect to see in terms of standard, easy to use, and easy to learn APIs and tools. So let's start thinking about add-ins. There's one platform for the new style of web add-ins that we are using across Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and we're bringing it to every single Office application. In addition, the vision is that these add-ins run on every platform where Office runs. So you can run them today inside of the traditional Win32 desktop apps. You can run them in Office Online. You can run them on Word, Excel, PowerPoint, on iOS. And we will continue to bring it to all the other platforms we, that you use Office on. So with that, let's actually dive in and take a look at a quick demo that shows just how easy it can be and how seamless the experience can be connecting your experience inside of an Office client. OK, let's take a look at a demo running inside of Outlook. And I'm looking at Outlook running in Win32, but of course that also work in the Outlook web client as well. And I'm going to show an add-in that has been built for us by a partner called Zendesk. Zendesk is a leader in customer service and customer engagement software. And what they wanted to do here was make it easy for their Zendesk users to connect into the Zendesk system in the flow of how they're getting work done in Outlook. They're taking advantage of a new add-in capability we've got called App Commands, which let them put this great button up in the ribbon to say, ah, I've got an issue that came in from a customer. I need to track this in my customer issue database. And so I push Quick Create. And just like that, the ticket was successfully created in Zendesk. The whole point of this is that the Outlook user doesn't have to go through a lot of machinations. It's easy. It's seamless. It's integrated into Zendesk. And it works directly within the flow of what they do in Outlook. The second great way to integrate with Office is for you to let your data light up Office applications through built-in native rendering that we provide. And so the simple idea here is that you've got a service that generates a lot of activity and events, and you'd love to have those show up inside of a conversation that a team using Office is already participating in and will help connect those users back into your service. And so with that, let me give you a quick look at what it looks like to actually see data from external conversations conversations coming up and showing up inside of a modern group. So let's switch to that demo. All right, so here we are looking at what is a modern group and the set of conversations going on in a modern group that pulls together all sorts of relevant information for the people on a team, like files that they're working on, a shared calendar, or in this set, case, a set of shared conversations. The interesting idea is that we're making it easy for the group to get access to information coming from an external data source. And so as I click on connectors, I see a list of connectors that I can go ahead and configure. We've got Bing News and Twitter configured in this case. And if I drill in, I see that I can actually have a lot of richness enabled in the Twitter connector about what account is it using and what information is it keeping track of so I can follow an at sign or a hashtag. And all of that is used to push information directly into the feed. In addition, I can go ahead and create a connector that is configured to a particular webhook and that'll let me pull in custom information that just shows up like events and activity here in the message for the modern group. 
This week at Connect, we're very pleased to announce the production release, GA, of the Microsoft Graph. This set of APIs will let you get easy, open, standard access to data coming from Office 365 tenancies. And as you can see here on this slide, that's easy access to a bunch of the information that your app really needs to be compelling, whether it's users and their documents, the events they're participating, the conversations that they're having, but also intelligent insights coming from the Microsoft Cloud, like what people are they working with and what documents are trending around them. There are already partners building on top of Microsoft Graph. That includes folks like Do.com and Smartsheets. But today, I'd like to spend a second talking about some of the new capabilities that we're announcing in preview, because the idea of the Microsoft Graph is really something where we will keep investing over time, and more and more power and capability will be coming available. So with that, let's take a look at a preview of some new Excel APIs that we are announcing in preview this week at Connect. For the very last demo, to show off the power of the Graph APIs, we're actually going to go to those preview APIs I mentioned. And what we're showing is a custom web application that's integrated with the, on the server side to talk to Excel online. And so these are the new preview RESTful APIs for Excel that will let my custom web app, in this case, let's just say I'm keeping track of a list of work items. So I will create a new awesome work item called do a great demo. Uh, it's certainly high priority. We'll go to say it's in progress, give it some completion and a start and end date that map onto it. And now when I click create, that actually called those RESTful APIs that are in preview with the graph. I'll go ahead and refresh my web apps. Ah, well, it's not showing up in my web app, but it already showed up inside of Excel. And so I had the Excel web client open to do co-authoring. And what you see is it popped open directly inside of Excel. The good thing is I could have multiple people looking at that. I don't need to build a custom data source in order to store this data. It lives in a people understand and can easily work with, which is Excel. This is just one point about all the things you can do with Graph. Again, this week at Connect, we are GAing APIs for file, mail, calendar, and contacts. And please go take advantage of all that stuff in an easy to use, easy to program way. I hope that you've enjoyed this whirlwind tour of all the things that you can do with Office extensibility. The thing I'd like to leave you with is a clear statement of what can you do today to go get started. Go to dev.office.com. It has access to add-ins and APIs and building connectors across all the applications and all the platforms. It'll make it easy for you to sign up for the developer program, and it'll make it easy for you to get started connecting to Office. With that, thank you very much for your time, and I hope you enjoy all the rest of the sessions that we have for you at Connect this year.